We moved into a small space on the water. I homeschooled my boys and I'm almost always with my family. I feel my best and sleep better when I'm active throughout my day. In the past, I've done this through long walks while listening to podcasts or doing a low impact dance cardio in my house on YouTube, but I have to reframe this now considering my new limitations. Here are 50 ways that I've gotten in more steps through low impact walking in the past and new ways I'm working on today. As I chat with you, I'll show you a little bit of what our day getting in my steps look like in the background. Let's get started in no particular order. Number one, park further away. It's a no-brainer that a number of articles list this, but it is something that you do have to rewire your brain to do. Number two, walk while brushing your teeth. Another one that I picked up from a YouTube video, some guy, I think, said walk while you brush your teeth. And it makes sense. It's two minutes, at least twice a day that you have free that you should just walk around a little bit. Number three, set an alarm to walk around once an hour for 200 steps. Now the 200 steps, you can make it whatever it is that you want it to be, but my Fitbit, and to be honest, quite often right now, gives me a little alert that says I need to get in 200 steps. You know, make it whatever you want, but you can set a little notice that makes you get up out of your, your chair. You could also do like a Pomodoro, where every 25 minutes you take a five minute break and walk around, you know, it's up to you. Number four is walk more. Park once and walk to each errand. Now this is something that is, again, a no brainer. Something I never really did in the past because you could, I mean, it's definitely more of a hassle, but if you have to get in the steps no matter what, and you have to do this errand, why not make this an activity? So you park at the grocery store, walk two miles to the library, two miles back, you've got your steps in basically. Take the stairs is number five. Now, of course, all of these tips are just mainly for my personal use because I, this year I have definitely decreased the amount of activity I have done throughout the day. You know, take it with a grain of salt, talk to your trainer, talk to a nutritionist or whatever it is based off of your goals. This is mainly as a reminder for myself, if you're looking for some ideas and because you already know that you need to walk more, here's what I've done. Number six is do more for others. When I first started to take walking more seriously, I was working in a service-oriented job. Someone would ask me for something, and it was kind of, I mean, a little bit my role to delegate it to someone else to do it, but it was my favorite thing to take it upon myself to just go ahead and do it because really when you think about it, If it's someone requested something of you, it's of utmost importance to you to make sure that that's done correctly. You knew then that the job was going to get done correctly. And then I also got in my steps at the same time. At home, I'm doing something similar where, you know, you could just say if your child asks you for a glass of water, go grab the water yourself. But I do, I like to get in the extra steps, especially in this small space. And then also um, it makes me feel better to take care or to go the extra mile or surprise and delight my family. Go the extra mile and do a little bit more for others, even if it's just around the home. Number seven is to go to the mall or shopping center. Now, this is something in college that the seniors would do like a walk around the mall. I, I worked at a little retail store and I loved watching them in their tra- track suits and I thought, oh, that's so cute. But it's very practical and super smart. You can go window shop, walk around. It's dry. It is warm. Another thing is I saw on a YouTube video when I was, again, I'm <laughs> getting inspiration to walk more and take it seriously and see that people did get good results from it. He, this man in the YouTube video was walking around like Walmart or some kind of grocery store or box chain store in like the middle of the night. And I thought that's so weird, but it's actually a very good idea if you think about it, because again, it's warm, it's dry, and you probably feel safer if you're doing that. And there's a number of grocery stores that are open until 2 a.m. even in small towns. Number eight is Plan more activities with others in advance. This is something that I'm definitely working on more. If you have to get your steps in, why not make it a hike or something like that or meet, meeting up with a friend. Planning, I just think, is essential. Otherwise, it's going to be 10 o'clock at night and you'll have like 5,000 more steps to get in and you're going to be walking in front of your TV while you watch your show. So it's just silly. Number nine is to register for fitness classes. Another kind of like no brainer. Number 10 is to dance more and dance just for fun. Turn on music, walk around or be silly. Number 11, play active video games that make you stand up. One of the ones that I got really into when I was walking a lot was the Harry Potter one and I can't remember what it is right now, but it's basically like Pokemon Go, but it was for Harry Potter and... (laughs) You walked around and like did spells on things and you got like walking bonuses if you're walking. 
and I just thought it was fun. It was cute. It made me walk a lot more in, in the house too. Number 12, walk when you're waiting for something to finish like a coffee pot or something like that, even if it's, even if it's in place. Uh, number 13 is do more housework. So vacuum more often, dust more often. I do that a lot now, um, especially on the boat. Number 14 is to walk in place. It seems like a silly thing, but when you've been walking in place for two hours or just around your bedroom, it's actually a pretty good workout and you can kind of like shift the different ways that you walk in place. Number 15 is to go for a walk with someone instead of meeting for coffee or drinks or take those things with you or walk to the place where you're going to go get them. Number 16, start with up a new hobby. One that I've noticed around the Puget Sound that I hadn't noticed maybe on land, or I think it might just be the age of people that were around, is pickleball. And another one from like this, the younger generation um, that I saw a lot in Southern California was roller skating. And then of course there's like golf. Number 17, join YouTube Premium. This one is like my number one, number one tip is to join YouTube Premium. I think I pay like $10 a month. This has been really helpful in homeschool too in that I don't have to watch ads if I want to show the kids a program or like an instructional video. They don't have to watch the ads with it. You also get the music downloads or the music app included with that. So it's like having a Spotify or Apple, but you get it on YouTube. And with that, you get music that isn't necessarily available on Apple. That's like remixes and things like that, that are just fun. So the reason why I said YouTube premium is because, I mean, that sounds like, okay, well, you could have any service, but you can take all those YouTube videos and download them and take them onto your walk. So it doesn't have to just be a podcast. It could be an instructional video, anything like that. And I find that super beneficial because I love watching YouTube. That gives me kind of just, I feel a little bit better by watching it when I'm walking. Number 18 is to buy new headphones. Again, this list is for myself because I noticed without I lost I lost my headphones. It is a real bummer. And uh, cuz that was one of the things that I most looked forward to when I was going on my walks was listening to whatever it is that I wanted to listen to. And now I can't. Buying new headphones would definitely motivate you. Number 19 is to buy new shoes. Again, something that's on the list for myself. If you've watched any of my walking videos, you know I've worn shoes that are very, very old. I want new shoes. (laughs) So that would motivate me. Number 20, share your progress with your friends or create an anonymous fitness account to stay accountable. I see a number of people on Instagram that do those anonymous accounts and it seems to really help them. I shared on my Instagram account when I was walking more and it really did help me as well. Number 21 is YouTube workout videos. Up to the beat with Gina B. I just love her videos. I walk so much. She's so delightful and her music is really fun. There's a couple other ones that I've done on YouTube that walk um, who I also enjoy but they're just Gina B is really fun. There's one woman that I used hers a lot and she says, walk, walk, walk. And the kids thought it was so funny and they'd hear it. And so now we're around seagulls a lot and it sounds kind of like her in a really nice way. (laughs) Number 22 is go to theme parks, museums, zoos, that type of thing. And one fun tip is that you can get free passes to go to these from libraries. Number 23 is to walk in place while you watch a show or movie. Like I said, I've done that quite a few times. And it is, I've found that I got a good workout out of it. Number 24 was to hold something heavy while I walked in place for some extra motivation. Again, this is your health and your fitness. So do whatever it is that you think is right for you. I've watched a few videos on why you shouldn't walk with weights and what that does, and you can Google that yourself, but I I think I did it responsibly. It was just a little bit more of a motivation because walking at times you can feel like, oh, is this impactful enough? Am I burning enough calories or whatever it is? And it just made me feel a little bit better. Number 25 is to jump rope. 26, learn TikTok dances. 27, watch YouTube videos, read blogs. This is what I've been talking about throughout all of this is it's not just like learning things about how to get in more steps, but it's reaffirming the fact that this is effective because I think so often we're given messages that you need to purchase this program. You have to do a certain amount of minutes of high intensity. You have to do this many intervals, that type of thing. When I read 
Like I even have a news alert assigned for when studies come out for walking is like, is walking effective? Is it healthy for you? And it just makes me feel a little bit better because I know that in the past this has worked out for me, but I feel like at some point you get some kind of amnesia and you're just like, I don't even remember that. So number 28, set rules for yourself. How many steps a day? What counts as an off day? This was really important for me when I was being really strict about walking more is that if I didn't reach the amount of steps I wanted, I wanted to have kind of like a way out that still challenged me and that way it would encourage me to keep going. Number 29 is to create rituals in your day. You reach 2,000 steps by 8 a.m. You get up early and watch your favorite coffee shop on Saturday mornings. Like little things that you do can continually or that set up a day or number 30 is to use themes and this is one that I I really enjoy the example that I wrote down (laughs) is that next Thursday you could make it officially Thor's day and you could watch Thor in walk in place and then you can go outside and listen to the Avengers soundtrack and you can wear Thor socks and you just have fun (laughs) why not number 31 don't keep your phone on you that way it forces yourself to walk to it each time it dings again you know use your own judgment whether or not that's a safe thing for you number 32 is same with the phone your water bottle a gift to walk to the water cooler in the office while walk to your water bottle while you're at home number 33 is to park and get out of the car when you're waiting for your child after school number 34 is to go to target to walk i guess this is the same thing as the box store but for me personally i guess this is written for me because I enjoy walking around Target and browsing at all the little things and it would encourage me to walk more. Number 35, buy bad weather gear. This is so important, Um, especially here in the Pacific Northwest where it tends to rain more or it's windy and it's cold. Having that gear encourages you to go outside. It's like the, I think it's the Swedes that have the saying or the Nordic people where there's no bad weather, only bad gear or bad clothing number 36 if you're on a ferry this is again written for myself (laughs) get out of your car and walk around the ferry number 37 never go uh, to drive-thrus always walk in number 38 get an active job this is i thought you know this is kind of like a bratty one to put in there but considering the time that we're in so many people are changing their occupations why not if you if you know being healthy and fit is something that you're struggling with why not get paid to do that whether it's walking around an amazon warehouse or it's doing room service number 39 walk in the dark especially right now in the winter the sun goes down so early here and comes up so late that it is difficult to work walk during the daylight i mean again use your own judgment of whether or not you feel safe doing that number 40 go volunteer in a community garden or farm 41 leave snacks on the other side of the room number 42 make the extra trips Uh, this is an important one for me and it's very very helpful where i have a tendency to like pile as many bags on um to go bring back to the boat instead i'll just make a couple trips and get in more steps number 43 eat better this one is really important for myself this is a big note for me in that when i eat better i walk more and i do more and i'm more active when i don't i'm lethargic i'm just like fuzzy brained and you can't really think straight number 44 is to get more sleep because then i'll have more energy and be able to focus more number 45 listen to self-help or gratitude or something on quantum physics it makes you feel happier and more optimistic and then makes you want to walk more Number 46, play games with your kids and play at the park instead of watching them. Number 47, set an intention to find something while you walk. This has been really fun. I think it was in the artist's way or I forget where it is that I get that, but you you can look for something and then you end up seeing it on your walk. For example, if you want to see a yellow bird, you set the intention, you're on your walk and you're looking for a yellow bird and then you see one and it might have always been there yet you set that intention, you saw it. Number 48 and the same idea is to look for pennies and it's a fun one too and then you say thank you when you pick up the penny and just makes you feel good and you notice pennies everywhere. Number 49, walk different neighborhoods at night to see Christmas lights. Number 50, make sacrifices. And that doesn't sound right, but if you're trying to walk more, get more steps in, don't go to the movies when you're, you've are you been sitting all day at work. Number 51, research. Oh, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite tip. <laughs> research the beats per minute of your favorite songs. I would put, I think I did 150 beats per minute. 
I put all my favorite songs, songs that were 150 beats per minute into a playlist and I walked around the house at 150 beats per minute. So just walk, 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 walk. And you get the amount of steps in per minute as there are beats in the song. So if it's a three minute song, 150 beats per minute, 150 times three is what, 450? <laughs> then you have that many steps. So if you have a thousand steps, you just have to figure out how many beats per minute you want to do and then how many minutes you have to walk for. Number 52, trade a non-walking activity that has a similar calorie expenditure. So you'd use your smartwatch. This is one that I'm working on right now. So I'm using my Fitbit to track my data and figure out what like a similar, if I were to go on for a walk, like a workout type walk versus if I were to go to um, on a paddle like how long I would have to paddle to get the same calorie expenditure as I would um, if I was doing steps. Number 53 is to buy an umbrella, waterproof shoes, or a raincoat. That's a very good tip for people here in the Pacific Northwest. That was 53 ways to increase your steps. And you should let me know in the comments what you're doing to get in more steps because like I said, this is something that I'm trying to improve upon based off of our new small space and all that fun stuff. It's just a new routine to get into. All right, thank you so much for watching this. 